Today I'm going to be going over my favorite um, face products like cream, um, moisturizers, tinted glow products, tinted skin tints for spring. Just my products that I like to wear on my face for springtime. Um, pretty much any time. But one of these is specifically my favorite for spring. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Super Serum Skin Tint by Ilia. This is actually um, my favorite product to use in like the summer and the springtime. Um, this is actually my second, I think, maybe even third bottle I've had of this. I just really love how it looks on the skin. It's not drying. It just looks very um, natural and very, very dewy. It doesn't... Um, dry down very much. It stays pretty much dewy the whole day so if you're somebody who's like oily you might want to set your face in certain places because it does not dry down. And this is $48 and you get I'm looking on the Sephora site, you get one ounce so typical ounce. It's 48 which is quite pricey but for my products I don't mind paying more if it has like um, skincare benefits in it which this does. This has um, this has squalene in it, has niacinamide, it has hyaluronic, hyaluronic acids, um, more than one, and it's supposed to be a vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free product, um, and it also has sunscreen in it, and the sunscreen is a mineral, which I do prefer a mineral sunscreen if I'm going to have a sunscreen in my product, just because... Um, with my rosacea, with my sensitive skin, I don't like to put things that have chemical sunscreens in them. Um, so I guess I'll do a drop. It's a dropper. And like I said, I have it in the shade um, Bal Balos. It's the third shade in the line. Balos, Balos, Balos. I'm sure it's Balos. And it looks like this. It's just a liquid. I'm going to squirt some on my hand. As you can see, it's very, like, runny. And it's very light. It's not going to give you much coverage. Um, but I usually take, like, a beauty blender, and I'll drop three drops onto my face and just blend it out from there, and that usually does pretty good. I mean, it's not going to cover up everything. Like I said, it's just a skin tint, but it does pretty good. Um, it's just supposed to be light, natural coverage. This is the shade right here, Balos, and it perfectly matches my skin. I mean, it, you can't really tell that I'm wearing anything. I mean, it's the perfect shade for my skin tone, so if you're my skin tone, it'll be perfect. And as you can see, it's quite dewy. And the other ones I'm going to talk about are newer. They're things I haven't owned that long. They're things that actually are new to the market, except for one is not that new, um, which is the Say. I think they've had this before, but I just never knew about it, I guess. This is the Say Slip Cover Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sunscreen Tinted Moisturizer. This is also a mineral sunscreen in here. And this is shade two on here. Let me look this up for you. Now the weird part is, I know I wasn't imagining things. If you go onto the Sephora website, they call it Slip Tint Dewy Tinted Moisturizer. And mine's called Slip Cover. So I'm pretty sure it's the same thing because they both have the SPF 35. I know they have like a regular moisturizer that's a sunscreen only. I don't think it's tinted. So I'm pretty sure this is the same product. Um, they just call it something different now, I guess. I bought this off of the Say Beauty website. I didn't buy it off of Sephora. But you can buy it off of Sephora. It's $32. Um, there is 1.35 ounces, so it's a little bit bigger than the Ilia. Um, this I have liked so far. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. Um, it's supposed to be very dewy, just like the Ilia. Um, I find that it it's still sticky, like I can still feel it on my face and I've had it on my face probably for like over a half hour now. I don't find that it like really sets down too good. Um, so if you are oily yet again, you'll have to like wear a 
some face powder on your face if you don't want like it to wear off throughout the day. Um, this has a lot of good skincare benefits in it too. It has licorice, jojoba esters, and sweet pea in it. And I'll do a squirt of this. This is quite thick. It's more of like a typical foundation texture. It's very creamy. And like I said, this is shade 2. And you're going to see it's a completely different color than the Ilia because the Ilia does um, change a little bit after you've had it sitting on. It does darken quite a bit. Um, so just keep that in mind. You might want to get like a different shade so that way it, when it adjusts it matches your skin tone a little bit better. Um, but here's the Say one. As you can see, the Ilia one's here and it is darkened a little bit. The Say one, I don't really notice that, but I will keep it on my hand and let you know if I notice it when we're doing this. But like I said, this is shade 2. And it's right here. And that is another very good skin match for my skin tone. Next up, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay. This is also a newer product um, that I've gotten. I've only wore this twice now, I think. Maybe three times. Um, I do like it so far. It is also another tinted glowy product. This is $29 and you get 1.1 ounces so you get over the 1 ounce. And I got mine in the shade 30. I originally got 20 but 20 was a little bit too light, like ghostly on me. So I got 30. 30 is a better match. It's a little dark. But I can work with it. I mean, I probably will get a little bit darker in the summer anyways. Um, and this says that it's supposed to be a medium coverage. And it's supposed to be giving you a glowy finish. This also has some skincare, skincare benefits. Which all of my things I think that I'm showing you today do. I just prefer that in a skincare product um, for my sensitive skin. And I just feel like if I'm going to be wearing something on my face all day, I want it to do a little something. Um, this has kombucha filtrate which is an anti antioxidant rich ingredient and then it has marula oil to give you that hydration and this is almost a perfect shade match to the say. It's right here. I mean they're almost pretty much like the same color on the camera it doesn't look like it but like if I'm looking in person it kind of looks like pretty much the same color. It's right here. And like I said, that's also dewy. It's also very creamy. I don't think it's as thick as the Say, but it's thicker than the Ilia because the Ilia, you know, is just a tint. It's like a liquid more. And my next product is going to be the M Cosmetics. Their new um, Daydream Cushions. I'm just going to look it up really quick so I can tell you the info. Normally I would have everything already on my phone, but today evidently I don't. Alright, so these are $48. They are more expensive, but you do get um, a refillable um, foundation pack that you can stick back in here. So you really gain two foundations in it. Um, my problem was the shades. I'm between two, two shades, so I had to buy two different ones, but what I ended up doing is just buying the refill, which this is the refill, and this is the regular one. So it comes in a bigger compact, and you just stick this in here, I believe. Just stick it right in here on top of this one. So I have two different shades for it. And this, I believe, was only 28, and the refill is 28, and then this whole package is 48. So this is the shade right here. This is the shade Cloud Dream Fair. This is, I think, the lightest one. Yeah. I have the lightest and then I have this next one up. Um, let me see if I can even get any to come out my finger here. This is quite liquidy as well. Um, when you like are getting it up because it's a cushion. And you're getting it to come out. It's more sheer as well. Like I feel like I have to pounce I usually use my sponge, so I have to pounce my sponge in here like a couple times to even get anything to come out. And that's what I'm finding I have to do with my finger. Because it's very sheer to me, at least. So this is Cloud 
light. I don't know if you can even see it because it perfectly matches my skin tone on my arm, but necessarily it doesn't match it on my face. But on my arm, you can't even barely see it. It's right here. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see the light one because the light one is a little bit dark for my skin tone, but if I mix them, it looks fine. And then this is the gentle light, which is a light medium. And that's the next shade up. And I didn't get this one because to me, like if you're looking at it in the pan, that looks like a bronzer shade. So I thought it was going to be way too dark, which it, you'll see, it is. Um, I probably could use it as a bronzer shade. But once you mix them together, it's like my perfect shade. And that's it right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm going to come up there and turn my arm. Yeah, you can kind of see it better now. Right there is, right there is the shade, um, gentle light, and then here's the lightest shade, which is cloud dream, right there. And don't mind these; these are just blush swatches. <laughs> so those are all my shades right there. Pretty much all the same shades, except this one's a little darker. This one's a little darker. And it looks like, to me, the Urban Decay one did oxidize, because it wasn't that dark when I put it on. Um, the Say Beauty one, I don't notice any oxidization. This one here, the Iliad, does oxidize quite a bit. Um, and the other two, the M Cosmetics, I don't think they oxidize at all. Um, but yes, that's all for my... um cream products. Um, that's all I have. I do want to try some more, but then I always think, you know, I already have all of these. I don't want to waste them. You know, obviously I'm not going to be able to use everything before it expires, so that's why I haven't bought any more. And I probably won't for right now until I use up one of these. Um, but my go-to is probably going to be the Ilia one throughout the summer. Anyways, this is just what I like to use, especially if you're at the beach. This is a good one because if it washes off, if you're like in the water, it's not going to look like crazy on your face. It's not going to look like it's faded in some spots and not in others. It just washes away pretty easily. And I would say like my least favorite at all, out of all of them is the Urban Decay one. It's okay. I like it. But I don't like it as much as the Say one or the M Cosmetics ones. I've been using these quite a bit too, the M Cosmetics. So that's going to be all for my video today. Thank you for watching, and as always, please subscribe for all my other content that I will be having on my channel, and have a good day.